all right folks we made it to thursday morning i'm on uh, 71 north here in arkansas it's about 7 30 a.m got about an hour to go to get to my customer Woo, i stopped last night at the loves there on highway 59 in texas oh you know about 15 miles south of Texarkana and then uh, been driving up south to north up uh, western Arkansas this morning it's kind of a tough drive you know it's uh, curvy slow hilly traveling there's just no good way to get up here <laughs> Plus, it's been raining most of the way. But I stopped here at this little rest area, did a load check, Just giving you a shot of that. Remember, we're going to a place called uh, Baker Baker Steel. Not sure how you pronounce it. In Van Buren, Arkansas. Yeah, man, there's been some lightning. Supposedly, there's a cold front that's coming in. Got a truck turning over here, so I gotta wait a second. But yeah, supposedly, uh, we've got a cold front coming through. The high today is only gonna be in the, like the low 70s, they say, so that'll be nice if it quit raining. Man, it's been a lightning show all morning. I mean, some fierce lightning. Even for quite a ways before it started raining. Quite a lightning show. So you can see the sign there, Fort Smith, 36 miles. Van Buren is just uh, a bit north of Fort Smith, so. GPS says we got 47 miles to go. Just giving you some road footage. It's pretty country over here, it's just uh, tough driving. You know, it's mostly two lane, with an occasional passing lane. So you get people behind you can't wait to get around you and it's hills like this where you know I do good to go 45 miles an hour anyway I'll show you some more at the customer all right folks on I-40 West, just on the north side of Fort Smith. We're gonna take exit three. And then we'll kinda go back over the freeway and our customer is right there. This is a place I've been to, I don't know, maybe three or four times while I've been driving for Maverick. A couple of times when I've been here, it's been quite busy, you know, with a lot of trucks waiting outside. I'll show you in a minute, but Usually the way it works is they've just got a road out in front of the place where you park out there and unstrap or untarp and um, and then you go pull into the, the property and then you circle around and uh, exit. And this is it. Straight ahead there, to the right. Well, it looks like they're doing some construction out there. 
so that's it to the right this road just here to the right is where we'll come out when we're done um, so you can see here they've got some of the parking area just out here along the sides of the street is where you have to unsecure but they've got the right side completely blocked with uh, construction so I'm gonna pull up here it looks like there might be a little bit of room right across from the entry gate they've even got empty trailers dropped out here kind of weird um, and then there's usually uh, someone over here in a little check-in shack anyway let me get checked in okay so let me show you Some pretty scenery right out here isn't it but let me show you what I've done before I enter the property. I've taken all my straps off, except for the one at the end and the front. That's the way they like you to do it. I'm gonna turn on in and go around back to where you get unloaded. All right, so let's get headed in here. Seems like in the past there used to be a, a little building just here to the left where uh, like a check-in person would greet you, but not so now. So normally what happens is you drive around and go around this building. Usually I go right beside that blue building there, but this truck is parked in the way, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go around this way. Just giving you a look of things. Like they've got some TMC preloads going on here. cool wooden schools right there like I said I think I make I, I think this place makes uh, fencing products and once we get around to the back I think you may be able to see some of their uh, production they got lots of pallets out here to the left like we saw getting made down there and uh, where was that we were at? Texas. So basically you just creep along this this side. You know, you might not can see it, but the right side has arrows pointing opposite of the way I'm going, and this lane has arrows pointing this way. And uh there's no other trucks in the unloading area, so I'm just gonna pull all the way up. You might not can see it yet, but uh, there's a big red and white sign straight ahead that says, stop here. That's where you get unloaded if you're hauling coils. This little van is kind of in my way, so I'm going to have to cross over a little bit here. There's the 
forklift guy probably gonna unload me. Saw me coming in. But that sign up ahead in front of that dumpster says rod deliveries, which is what I'm hauling, coiled rod, stop here. So basically you pull up to that sign, you get unloaded, and then uh, you exit out through that that pathway there to the right of the fork. I've still got my two two-inch straps to take off. So I gotta hop out and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and give him my paperwork. Alright, be back at you. Okay guys, so this is my friendly unloader Perry. This is a pretty quick unload, so I had to hurry up and grab my camera. So that's how it works. You're just sitting them right over there. You can see they got a bunch of them out in the yard here. So he's only got three more left, and then I've got my my cradle here and my skid mat put up. Just wanted to give you a shot of the unload. Pretty quick, pretty quick. This is about the quickest unload you'll ever get. <laughs> All right, so that's how it works. I'll show you how to exit out of here in a minute. All right, gotten unloaded, pulled away from the unloading spot because there was another truck came in behind me. Pulled over here uh, to the right and uh, sent in my empty call. And I'll show you how to get out of here. That's the way to get unloaded. Perry, my unloader, said that I was the ninth truck so far today to get unloaded. And it's uh, 9.03 at this point so a lot of product coming in all right so basically you got a dirt little dirt road back here that kind of winds around the, the property back side of the property I'm just going to show you this just to help you uh, new Maverick drivers that have never been here. I think once we get around this building there might be some product I can show you. Well, I'm expecting to go to the Maverick Fort Smith yard since I'm only about 12 or 15 miles from there. But it is just Thursday morning. So here's some of the road fencing here to the right. You can see they've got palletized and wrapped. Looks like it's ready to go. And straight ahead it looks like they even have some like sample fences put up out there. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. I got lucky with the rain, man. It rained on me for two or three hours heading up here, but got lucky in the unload. All right, there's a roll of 
fencing it's just out here in the middle of nowhere so yeah like i was saying you just follow this dirt road all the way around the building and it'll loop you back i think i mentioned when i came in where the exit point was But they haven't told me where to go yet, so I don't want to leave. I'm just going to find a place to pull out, pull around out here. Here's some more product. To the left. This is kind of drawing out a little bit, but I'm just showing you for the benefit of you new Maverick drivers that haven't been in here before. So this is uh, this brings us back to uh, this little road here that up there to that stop sign. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. All right. So that stop sign up ahead is where I first came in, and then went to the right pull it into the lot so what you do is you just go right across there you hit the ramp to hop back on I-40 so all right I'll update you when I know where I'm going okay guys well that took about seven or eight minutes they've sent me an order picking up at the Maverick Fort Smith yard and it goes to NTN drive shaft in Columbus Indiana been a few months since I've been up there but again that's a customer we take stuff to a lot and they go by appointments strictly appointments in fact as I remember the last time I went up there you have to have a delivery confirmation appointment or they won't let you in seems like I got delayed about an hour last time because I didn't have a delivery confirmation number on my paperwork. Anyway, that's not going to happen this time. So, it delivers at 1 p.m. on Monday. Today is Thursday. So, um,. If this doesn't take too long, I should be able to get home later today. And then I'll have to leave out sometime Sunday, you know, and at least get part of the trip done. Sunday. All right, I'll show you some of the loading in Fort Smith. 